Right now at Appalachian Wireless, you can get the Samsung Galaxy S7 for just $99.99 and get a second one free. Service agreement is required on both devices, serving you for the last 25 years with better service and bigger savings at today's Appalachian Wireless. Good morning. It's Friday, November the 11th, Veterans Day, and here is your Daybreak Morning News. Traffic came to a halt yesterday on US 23 in Stanville after a two-vehicle accident involving a Floyd County school bus. According to Kentucky State Police, a red Ford Ranger was attempting to enter the southbound lane of US 23 from the Stanville Vendors Mall and pulled into the path of a fully loaded school bus. The two vehicles collided and came to a rest approximately 40 feet from the impact point. Officials are reporting that no children were injured in that crash. However, the drivers of both vehicles were transported to a local hospital to be treated for their injuries. The incident remains under investigation by the Kentucky State Police Post 9. Longtime State Representative Jeff Hoover has been selected by his Republican colleagues to become Kentucky's first GOP House Speaker in nearly a century when lawmakers convene in January. The newly elected House Majority GOP Caucus met behind closed doors at the Capitol on Thursday to unanimously select Hoover for the top leadership post. It comes two days after Republicans won control of the House. Republicans will hold a commanding 64 to 36 majority. Hoover has served 20 years in the House and spent 16 of them as minority leader. He calls his selection as the next House Speaker the, quote, highest honor of his entire life. Democratic Governor-elect Jim Justice says West Virginians can expect to see some noticeable enhancements to the state's sluggish economy in his first 10 months in office. The billionaire businessman and owner of the Greenbrier Resort defeated Republican Bill Cole in Tuesday's election. Justice says state revenues need to grow significantly, and he hopes to accomplish that across several economic sectors, including agriculture, tourism, and the energy industry. With your Daybreak Morning News, I'm Sean Allen. Have a great day.